Hey guys, it's Susan Fruz, and in today's video, I'm going to be ranking all of my homemade polymer clay charms. So if you want to see my favorites from my collection, then keep watching. Also watch till the end of this video as I will be featuring some subscriber artwork and giving out shoutouts. Anyway, that's pretty much all I have to say, so without any further ado, let's head to the crafting table. So my least favorite charm that I've made is this little YouTube rewind button that I made very recently for my New Year's special. Uh, I really like it and I think it's really cute, but uh, it is kind of quickly made because I was just making it for that one video. And it's kind of simple and it's just not my favorite out of all my charms. In 13th place are the various uh, candy cane and peppermint candy charms that I made this December. I really like them and I think they're really cute. But again, they're just kind of simple, quick charms and so they're only in 13th place. In 12th place is this little cake and cake slice charm that I made. I really like this charm and I really like the marbling and I just like how the slice just fits in the cake and I think it's really cute. I kind of regret making this into a charm by adding the eyepiece because I think it would have made really great uh, play food for my 18 inch doll. So. I really like this charm, but it's just not my favorite, but I still like it. In 11th place is actually the first charm slash charms that I ever made out of polymer clay, and it's just these little apple earrings. I'm counting them as one charm because they're a set of earrings. I think they're really cute and I love how this one has a little bite out of it. They are kind of messy and not my best work seeing as it was my first time working with polymer clay, but I'm really happy with them. I love the color palette and I just think they're super cute. In 10th place is actually this spilling cereal bowl charm. And this was the charm that I made in my first video on this channel, and I think it's really cute. I love the concept of this charm, and I love the little cereal pieces. Um, this charm is just really cute, and I'm really happy with it. And there's also uh, nostalgia points, as it was the charm that I made in my first video. So this takes the number 10 spot on my list. In ninth, we have this lollipop charm that I made a while back. It's a little bit burnt because I left it in the oven for too long because I'm super forgetful, but it's hardly noticeable because it's very colorful. I love the colors, I love the swirl, and I love this wooden stick. I believe this was just a piece of a toothpick, which I just uh, stuck into the charm to make a hole, and then I took it out and then baked it without the stick and then I added the stick again in later. I think this charm is really cute and I just really like it. In 8th place is this little cake sort of charm that I made. I think it's really really cute and uh, it was I made it by like marbling two colors together. I rolled them into a ball and then covered them with pink clay and then I cut it in half and added some icing. I still have the other half, I haven't baked it yet, um, so maybe I will at some point. This one is also a little bit burnt, because again, I'm really forgetful, but I think this charm is just really cute and I love the colors and I just love it so much. In seventh place are these emoji earrings that I made in a video a few months ago. Again, like the apple ones, I'm counting them as one charm because they're a set of earrings. I think these are really cute and I think they're some of my best work in terms of smoothing out the clay. And they're just really simple yet bold. And emojis aren't typically my 
fashion style, but I think these are super cute and I really like them. In sixth place is the taco. I will always love this charm. It's one of the first ones that I made and it was really simple and easy and I just love the dollop of sour cream. That will always be my favorite part. I did add a bit of texture with a toothbrush um, before baking. I don't know if you can really see that on camera, but I really love this charm and it is really cute in my opinion. So the taco will always be one of my favorites. And now we've come to the top five. So in fifth place is this little kawaii puppy charm and I'm obsessed with this charm. I think it's so cute. Uh, I think that the top here is a little bit uh, messy but I just say that it's hair so there you go. I think it's really cute. I love its little paws, its little face, its little ears, its little tail. Just everything about this charm except for the messy top. I absolutely adore, so this charm takes the number 5 spot. In 4th place is this charm. I love this little chick charm, it's so cute and it's made out of a magical squishy clay. Just kidding, this is my uh, little kawaii chick plushie. Yes, I just threw that across my room and I don't care. Uh, but I made this little charm version of it the other day and uh, I really, really love this charm. Partly because I just really like it in and of itself and also because it's a charm version of one of my favorite plushies. Um, and I just love this little Tsum Tsum charm. I think it's super cute and I'm hoping to make some more Tsum Tsums so that I can stack them. And yeah, I love this charm. It's so cute. And it's so cute. And I love it. And I love it. I love it. In third place are these peanut butter and jelly toast best friend charms. Again, I'm counting it as one charm. Uh, just because they're a pair, so they got to be together. Um, these are so adorable, and one reason I love them so much is just the really tiny details. I managed to fit two little glimmers in uh, each pupil, uh, which I'm really proud of considering how tiny they are. Uh, doing the faces, I remember, was pretty challenging with these ones just because of how small they are, but I love the details. Um, I love the little painted on crust. I just, I even love like the little tiny eye pieces. Something about that has just always been so charming to me. I absolutely love these charms. I have yet to give one of them to a best friend of mine, but, you know, I'm kind of not sure if I will because I just love them so much. So, yeah. In second place is this charm that I actually made only a few days ago, and it is this little cake charm. I'm really proud of this charm just because of the rose on the top, which was quite easy to make actually. I just uh, took a thin piece of polymer clay, rolled it up, and then I gradually added more thin sheets of polymer clay to the outside. Same way that they make flowers for like cakes and stuff out of sugar paste icing. Um, but other than the rose, I also just love the swirls I, of icing. I use the same method for my peppermint candy, so just check that tutorial out. And then the red velvet cake on the bottom, which is not quite as red as I would have liked it to be, but I still really love this charm and I love the details. And here we are in the first place spot come the little narwhal cupcakes again I'm counting them as one charm because they're a pair they were supposed to be like a couple but the little boy narwhal turned out slightly shorter but you know whatever who says that short boys and tall girls can't be together they're still a happy couple and they are super cute. I actually 
made them for a collab with Caterbug Kate. Um, this one was just sort of a test. Because it was a bigger project, um, I decided to make a test one before filming the video. Um, which is why it's a slightly different size, because I didn't make them uh, side by side. And this is the one that I made for the video. I love these charms, they're so cute. I like them too because they're really big and I don't know, I just like holding them. Um, I love the sprinkles, the little horns, the little faces. I actually had to make them in two pieces and then glue both together with a little wire armature in between just because, uh, because of the horn and the fins. If I had baked the whole thing for as long as I would have had to bake it, the fins on the horn would have been burnt because they're so much smaller than the rest of the piece. So I had to make them in two pieces and it was a pretty big project, but I'm really happy with how these little guys came out. They're super cute and they also have nostalgia points for being uh, what I made in my first collab. So I love these charms and I just think they're super duper cute. Anyway, those were all of the polymer clay charms in my collection, ranked in the comment section down below. Tell me which one was your favorite or how you would have ranked them. I would love to hear from you guys. Anyway, now I'm going to show you some subscriber artwork, so let's get into it. The featured subscriber artwork for today are these three drawings from Isaac and they are actually some little pony characters that he created and drew by following my My Little Pony drawing tutorial that I made a few months ago. These guys are so cute and I love all of them and it made me so happy to see that someone had followed one of the tutorials that I made and I love all these characters. We have Teardrop, Star, Storm and Orange Fly. And if I remember correctly, Orange Fly, Storm, and Teardrop are all girls, and then Star is a boy, from what he told me. I think these are so cute, and I actually love the color palettes on all of them. I just love the combinations of colors, and I love their little cutie marks. And Teardrop is just so sad, but she's so cute! And you can't really see here, maybe on camera, but there is a little puddle of tears from her crying. So I love these. Thank you so much for giving them to me, Isaac. And if any of you guys watching this want your artwork featured in one of my videos, all you have to do is snap a photo of it and email it to me. My email will be in the description box below, and I would absolutely love to get some art from you guys and feature it in a video. So now, I'm going to give out some shoutouts. Now it's time for shoutouts. Today's shoutouts go to Jaquila Pony and to TBNR Swift. Special thanks to TBNR Swift for suggesting today's video idea. If you guys want a shoutout in one of my videos, all you have to do is leave a comment, any comment that you want, with the hashtag SoozleCrew, and I will try and give you a shoutout in one of my future videos. That's pretty much it for today's video. If you enjoyed this video, Give it a like, and if you want to see more from me, then consider subscribing. Bye guys, and I'll see you next week.